guys might know me as MCT from Pushing the Bay TV, but today I'm just a fan. Hey, Anthony, what's going on, man? No, how you doing? Warriors fans are all around the world. I label him as the last hope. And the reason I, I say the last hope is because, you know, with the We Believe motto a few years ago, the We Believe motto and the whole state of mind, like we were on the brink of something great. Now it's a young team, it's a youthful team. First question, just off the bat, are you prepared to leave? Um, I think in the future, maybe a year or two down the road, but I think right now I still have a lot to learn and to do. Right. And I think um, we have a couple veterans right now that can help me do that. I mean, Ronnie Turioff, um, Corey McGetty, Steven Jackson, and even Monte Ellis can help me come along. So Thoughts on the rookie season, the 2008 NBA draft, you went 14th. Did that surprise you? Because I know it surprised me. Uh, yeah, it surprised me. I mean, coming into the draft, everybody was saying I wouldn't get past 10 as like the last resort. I felt I worked out good for uh, New York and uh, the Milwaukee Bucks. So right. at the uh, going into that night, my last resort was going to the Milwaukee Bucks at the eighth pick. So really? me falling to 14 was kind of a shocker. Wow, okay. Leading right into this, I mean, doubters. Phrases like, and this is from the internet, you know, the people that talk, raw talent. He has potential. Kind of like the, he kind of does, we're not sure. And, you know, straight up, the issues with the attitude people have been saying and riff for coaches. Reaction, I mean, how do you shut up the non-believers? Or maybe not shut them up, but prove them wrong and let everyone know that you are more important, you do have these skill sets, and you can lead a team. I don't think it's a thing about me shutting them up. I mean, because I think it's just a thing about doing what I do. I know what type of person I am. And I think if you ask any of the coaches on the Warriors staff or any of the coaches from the USA Basketball or anybody who actually really knows me, they'll, they'll dispel all of those comments that they say about me so and, and I everyone's seen it now yeah I mean, it's starting to show quick by the way hardest transition to becoming a pro all oh, the traveling I mean it's crazy traveling. like every other night you're on a plane in a different hotel and stuff wow. I mean it was some nights where I forget where I was at so so that must mean you're homesick a lot no, of I'm not I'm not a person that gets homesick I mean really? I, I like to move around I'm the type of person I could pick up and move around at the drop of a hat so. okay so you got used to it yeah I love it okay cool how is it playing for This is the question they want to ask. I don't even give a shit about it, but how is it playing for Nelly? It's good. I mean, I think it's a great experience. I mean, it's helped me grow grow up a lot faster than I uh, had to. I mean, high school and college, I was a man. I was able to do whatever I wanted to. And I think Nelly's whole thing was about getting me to um, work hard and realize my own potential. And you made it. Let's just be honest. A lot of the rookies, recent ones, Brandon Wright, Marco's gone, but a lot of the rookies never talk back or not talk back but never stepped up and really took that position i believe like you were probably the only one you are what everyone is hoping to be the one and that's a big a big state you know hopefully i can feel those shows you know, hey hopefully. you know everyone at this table i'm sure look at that i mean i'm speaking for the fans i speak for the fans all right best moments of the season and the worst or the lowest um uh, i think the best moments of the season was when i got my first start i mean I mean, I think every kid kind of plays around and say, right. calls out the name, what college, how tall they are and stuff. So to actually hear that happen with the lights off and the, and the uh, Oracle Arena, it was just crazy. So. Do you remember which game that was? I don't, I don't remember. It's too many games. I mean, they all run together a little bit. So, but okay. I remember that one, though. And um, how did the vets haze you? I, really, I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't really hazed too bad. I mean, the person who probably got me the most was Ronnie Torrey, but, I mean, he kind of took it easy on me. What though, did he do? So. Um, just going to get his food and stuff like that. He kind of like made me uh, take his shoes or his dirty laundry or whatever That's down. Not that to bad, yeah, I mean. Yeah, okay. so let's move into the summer, right? Heavy workout. You look bigger. What motivates you and what do you expect out of yourself? I mean, I know you want to be your best, but can you be a little bit more specific? What do you expect out of yourself? I came here today to get the best interview. What is it about you? I just want to. I want to be great. I I can't settle for just being another good player in the league or just somebody who's not even well they want to remember me after i leave the league i want to be remembered after i leave and i want to be one of the best players Damn. it's all said and done That's and nice. i understand that it's not it's not just going to be handed to me you know i mean there's a lot of great players in this league there was a rumor that you were at the Mavlin spurs playoff game yeah. and I was there. okay so they said that that influenced you to kind of work harder this summer yeah. what did it teach you put it that way I think it, it didn't influence me to work hard. I think it just added a little more fuel to the fire. Because okay. just there, it was, the atmosphere was crazy. I mean, I don't think it ever topped the Oracle Arena when we got some of the best fans. But 
it was just crazy, and I want to get to that to that level. I mean, that's the next level for me. I noticed one thing, you and Anthony Morrow, man. Uh, he's another guy that everyone really, really hopes to be a vital part of the team. Oh, he's going to be. He's going to be it this year. Really? You yeah. You believe that? Yeah, I honestly do. Okay. Um, you guys are, have a lot of similarities in work ethic and also, like I said, potential to be a star. I, I already kind of see it, but I'm talking about just the mass public. Yeah. Talk about just the relationship with Anthony Moore. I mean, he's, he came out of nowhere and just just killed it. I think it's great. I mean, I think the reason why me and Anthony click so much is just because we both we both gym rats. We love to play basketball. And even though, I mean, his situation was totally different from mine. He was overlooked. I mean, he was a uh, he was a great college player and was just one of those guys who were overlooked and had the opportunity to prove it. So, but yeah. I think we just both understand that we are blessed to be in this type of situation that we're in right now. Yeah. And even it's probably better basketball players out there than me and him both put together <laughs> that ha didn't have the chance that we have. So yeah, I mean, a lot of people in the Bay were like streaming uh, the summer league. Yeah. and man, you guys really looked like you guys were together all the time. Was that true or is that just kind of from the photos? Yeah, I mean, I mean, we spend some time together and stuff like that. I mean, we go out together every now and then. I mean, we talk every now and then. Like, we hit each other. we like, what's up, what you doing? Or whatever like that, so. Thoughts on Stephen Curry? I mean, that's another guy that everyone has a lot of hopes for. I mean, what do you I think, think about he, I think he's going to be a good player. I mean, I think he has to get a little bit uh, bigger and stronger. But like I said, he's a he's a tough player. I mean, he's a he's a great shooter, and he's going to help us out a lot this year. How could you not get the summer league MVP? I mean, I, I really I looked at that and I, I just it blew my mind. I was like, 27 points, nine rebounds, a few assists, four and one record. So you guys were winning. Is there something about the Warriors? People just don't like to like moral getting, you know, not being on the three point contest. I and mean, what is it? Is it politics? I'm, I'm sure it is, right? Well, the first question, why I didn't get the MVP? I mean, uh, Blake Griffin is a great player. I mean, yeah. he's sure to be the uh, the rookie, the rookie of the year. So, uh, but I mean, it's politics. I mean, I wasn't going out with the goal of setting records or becoming the MVP. I just want to come out there and. Just be a, a better teammate. Try to try to do what you asked me the first question. Try to be a better leader. And try to work on that. Forty-two points. I was like screaming. I mean that that was a that was a great I look there. I mean that was uh, something I didn't think anyone could pass. And then Morrow hit the forty-seven. Um, one thing about the whole trip that no one knows out there. Just one thing that's weird. Uh, Random. That no one would know. Man, that's a tough question. See. Uh, G-rated, of course. I'm saying. <laughs> we uh, we kind of rolled Steph kind of hard. I mean, we really. Yeah, this is our second year, <laughs> so we kind of had had really? the chance to uh, dish out what we got last year. Okay. So we kind of was on him, kind of hard, bringing donuts and stuff like that. And oh all yeah, that. I did yeah. see that. I saw the video. Yeah, that's so. crazy. Before we get into the fan questions, how did it feel being selected and participating in Team USA? I mean, that's crazy. Oh, it's that's beyond crazy. Yeah. I mean. And both my parents were in the military, so they both right. served the country. So, right. just even though it's a sporting event or whatever, just in a little small way, I'm I have the opportunity to represent my country, whether it be next year or a couple years from right. now. I'm on the radar, so that's crazy. It's a great honor. Cool. And, and so, when do you hear back, like who gets selected or whatever, or do they know? I, I, um, it's a it's a long process. Long I mean, process. They're gonna be watching us uh, throughout the year and stuff okay. like that, and let us know. So cool. Uh, fan questions from like Warriors Rule, GoldenStateWarriors.com, Golden State of Mind about this upcoming season. So, do you feel comfortable with where the team is headed? Oh yeah, I do. I mean, we have a lot of young, good players, and I think even though it was kind of tragic how the season ended up last year, the fact that everybody, so many injuries happened, it allowed a lot of the young guys to get a lot of experience that they right. probably wouldn't have gotten, even me. Like, so I think. I think we're going to be good. We're going to be in the playoffs this year. You're going to turn some of those doubters into believers. Exactly. We're making right. the playoffs this year. All right. Really? Yes. So you heard it first. Nah. The boy is going to make the playoffs. All right. Kind of related. Do you envision spending your entire career here? Quote, do you even like being a dub? Oh, I love it. I love it out here. I mean, I, t I joke around and tell my family I'm probably never coming home. You know? Really? So, yeah. But okay. I mean, so... I want to be a warrior as long as I can be. So you, if you could, you would retire? Yeah, of course. Okay, perfect. Uh, this is kind of crazy. Will you ever grow your hair out? Kobe's crazy fro in 2000 will be a crazy style for you. 